Slaves of Solitude takes us back to uh, the Second World War, Britain, Henley on Thames, and for people who just want to take a dip back in time and look at a different side of uh, Britain at a moment that we think we know well. I came across the novel of Slaves of Solitude a long time ago, and I liked it immediately. It appeals to my optimism, because it's really the story of a woman working her way out of a very depressing situation. I was surprised when I started working on the play by how funny it turned out to be. It's set in 1943 in a boarding house in Henley-on-Thames, and the residents are all people who've escaped the bombing. They lead lonely lives, soli solitary lives, until a man appears who's an American serviceman who is charismatic and attractive and exciting. And he and our heroine, Miss Roach, have an affair, which for her is very satisfying. Jonathan, who I've, I've known him for many, many years, he's a, a fabulous director of actors. He has the most amazing, unstoppable energy, a great visual sense, his enormous visual flair. It's a very soulful, beautiful piece of writing. Nikki Wright has adapted it from Patrick Hamilton's book. It's a wonderfully strong female central role. It's how she works her way through the disappointments and the frustrations and humiliations of her life into at least a start, but a real start, in staking out some independence for herself. <laughs>